Hello everybody, it's about time I do an update to the channel. It's been about 10 days and I've been thinking about a lot of different things. Just um, been a little stressed out dealing with some personal stuff and you know things are um, just been a little hectic so I finally came across something that I just couldn't not report on. Um, today in a CNBC interview with Timothy Geithner, he said that the IMF has very substantial resources to help the European debt crisis. So when I saw that, it stood out as, wow, that's kind of interesting, because I know I did a video back in uh, like three weeks ago where the IMF was saying that their war chest of paper nothings, or actually their, their electronic digits that aren't worth the paper they're not printed on, like Salenti says, um, 384 billion that the IMF has won't be enough. So the IMF needs to get bailed out so they can bail out Europe. I mean, that we heard about three weeks ago. And then today, Geithner comes out and says, well, the IMF has very substantial resources. Oh, wow, well, where'd they get that from? <laughs> you know, it's like, is the Fed stepping up? I'm sure the Fed, you know, the Federal Reserve stepping up. Him and Ben there in the back room and writing little curly cues on little pieces of paper, calling it a, a, a bond. And then, you know, Ben says, here, I'll go deep in my checkbook and I'll buy all that. And, you know, with my nothing, nothing backed checking account that I have, I mean, the Federal Reserve, they could go as deep as the amount of zeros they could put on their check. There's, you know, there's nothing back in that account. It's like a magical account, like Merlin, <laughs> you know, uh, Merlin Bernanke there with the with the checkbook. He just writes whatever he wants. It's, you know, it's like totally fantasy land. Well, that's our reality that we get to be a result of that, um, that inflation that he creates. But anyway, I've try and stay guided here I wanted to cover a bunch of things I don't want to get all scattered um, so anyway we had Timothy Geithner saying that the US will take a major role in helping out Europe well that's great like we don't have our own problems but you know just like like we had in I think about three months ago in July I did a video on 16 trillion dollars in secret loans by the Federal Reserve that came as a result of a, a one-time audit, which a partial audit, which we finally got to see, you know, something going on at the Federal Reserve, and they're just loaning money left and right, you know, since 08 to their banker buddies, and I didn't see any mention of collateral, and they're making loans to U.S., foreign banks, companies, uh, you know, foreign, it's just unbelievable that what goes on, but I'm, that's what you know that's just the norm it, you know maybe we didn't know it was going on but that's been going on so uh, Geithner wouldn't say how much you know would be needed to stand behind Europe but estimates around two trillion so I believe we're gonna have Federal Reserve standing there with their checkbook you know um, I heard uh, Gerald Salenti recently say um, Got it wrong again, Ben. <laughs> I hadn't heard that name. But yeah, got it wrong again, Ben will be standing there with his checkbook and to bail out Europe. Now, I, I don't know how all this going on can't make people not want to have some precious metals. Um, it's, you know, we're living in incredible times. I also wanted to mention that I saw a, a nice clip between Ron Paul and Herman Cain. I mean, I, I hear that he's moving up in the in the ratings. I, I don't understand how people could be interested in having someone like him as president. What did it for me was his stand on the Federal Reserve. Now, you know, I do get political sometimes on this channel. Not not so much um, as I do talking about the economy and stuff. But you know, what did it for me for Obama? when I didn't know much about him, you know, the whole thing about his church, that was enough for me. I, you know, I don't want to get into it. I'm sure, uh, 
I don't know how many Obama supporters I have that watch the channel, but you know, that was what it that was all it took for me. You know, him him and his wife being in that church and to hear some of the sermons of um, Jeremiah Wright. What did it for me for knowing that you know Cain is is not an option is his stand on the Federal Reserve. He said we didn't need that audit that showed 16 trillion in secret loans. He says that you don't need to get rid of the Fed. So from what I'm hearing him say, you know, he's saying that if you're poor, well, that's your problem. It's you know that's your fault. You don't blame the system. Well, he seem, doesn't seem to understand the major problem, which is a central bank that can create money out of thin air, which is, to, in my opinion, the, one of the major problems that we're having these days is because of that fact. And he doesn't seem to get that. So, whatever. There's no president that's going to be able to save us. I'm just, I've talked about this before. You know, there's one eagle, one head, and there's two wings. Republican and Democrat wing and the the head is making the both wings move so it doesn't matter Republican Democrat doesn't matter neither of them are for us um, I, I'm just all into trying to protect ourselves the best way we can from whatever's coming our way and it seems like there's a lot of stuff coming our way